A second reason to bring our words under the control of the Holy Spirit is because they set a trajectory for all of life. So James reminds us in verses 3 and 4 that the tongue is very powerful. Our words are very powerful. Uh, he talks about that little bit that goes in the horse's mouth and it's able to direct the horse in any given direction. Or maybe that rudder on the back of the ship that can stir that massive vessel in any direction that it wants to go. So the tongue does the same thing for people. That's the illustration. The tongue has trajectory setting power. When we speak to other people, we are both setting a trajectory to some degree for them, for the conversation. We're setting some trajectory for the world. We're also setting a trajectory for our own lives. So James says the tongue is a very small instrument. I mean, when you look at the body, it's not as big as the shoulders or as big as the head or as big as the feet. But that tongue is like the rudder on the ship or the bit in the horse's mouth. It has a lot of power to set the trajectory of life, both for us, for other people, and for the world. So we want to bring our words under the control of the Holy Spirit so we can glorify God in setting a trajectory for life.